Let's be honest, there's nothing worse than coming home and finding out that your SD card or whatever you recorded your videos to just straight up corrupted. There's nothing worse. So in today's video, I wanna show you some tips on how you can prevent data corruption. And if you do experience data corruption, I wanna show you a software that can recover it. So first, straight off the bat, let's talk about the preventative measures that you can take in order to prevent data loss or data corruption. First things first, the memory card. Now, when I first start off, I thought that an SD card was just an SD card. Doesn't matter who you bought it from, what brand it was, I thought they were all the same. First thing you have to remember is to buy from a big brand, such as SanDisk or Lexar. Those big brands know how to create SD cards and they usually have very high uh, reviews on Amazon or from their official stores. They've been around for a while and a lot of professionals trust them. That's one. Two, the SD card size is also very important. You wanna stay away from the larger SD card sizes. I think 64 gig to 128 gig is pretty good because if you do end up corrupting the SD card, it's better to corrupt data at smaller rates than larger rates. I would much rather corrupt a 64 gig card than a 128 gig card, especially if you're a wedding videographer, because at least some data is guaranteed to be somewhere instead of all on one SD card. So it's really important to understand your camera and to figure out what is the best, most efficient, yet safest way on how you should store and record your data on your SD cards. The next tip is to make sure you have redundant recording set up on your camera. For example, I'm shooting on an, either an A9 or an A7S Mark III, and both of those cameras have redundant SD card recording. And a lot of most professional uh, cameras have this feature as well. All you have to do is search for it within the menu, turn it on and make sure that the SD cards that you're using are from the same brand and the same size. You wanna make sure that you are being the safest as possible. You wanna prevent any of this data corruption from happening. Also, it's very important to check the leads on the SD cards and also make sure you check the SD card slots in your camera. Make sure they're clean and not covered with debris because eventually over time in use, they will start to get dusty and oily. So make sure you clean that up with either an ear swab using alcohol on the SD card or just simply use an air blower and spray out the dust from the internal card slots. So let's say you either deleted, formatted, or you just still happen to have corrupted files on your SD card. We're gonna talk about Recover It right now, and I'm gonna show you how to use the newest features of Recover It on how to get your files back. All right, so here we are inside of Wondershare Recover It. This is the latest version. They've completely redesigned the UI. They made it much more user-friendly, and basically a five-year-old could pick this up and recover their own corrupted SD card files. So if you notice here, we have multiple options on the left panel here. We have hard drives, locations, system crashed computer, advanced video recovery, and corrupted video repair. Now, for a lot of you who are watching this video, you're most likely you know, doing a lot of video work, so you're probably gonna wanna go more towards the advanced video recovery option or corrupted video repair. All you have to do is select on this option, click on start, then select the hard drive or SD card where that file is stored, such as this untitled SD card right here. And right here we have multiple different video formats such as MP4, MOV, AVI, and M4V. These are the most popular video formats that most cameras record in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna select MP4, MOV, and M4V, and then I'm gonna click on Start. And then once I click on Start, it's gonna go right into Scanning, let it load for just a few moments, and there you go. You're gonna start seeing things populate here under Files Found, and you're gonna see the percentage of how much has been scanned. And as the software finds that corrupted or deleted files, you'll start seeing folders and files populate right over here. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab a cup of coffee, go watch some TV while this is doing its thing, and then come back in a few moments and recover your files. Now, one of my favorite features about Recover It is that as it finds the files, you can actually preview them if they're under a certain file size. 
or you can at least see what files this software has seen on the SD card that was corrupted. So for example, here is an MOV file. This is coming from my Sony uh, A9 camera. You can double click on the file or folder and you can actually see little thumbnails start to populate from files that it detects from that SD card. So let's say this file is the file that you want and the scan hasn't completed. What you can do, you can actually pause the remainder of the scan, select the file, and then click on recover. And then all you have to do is select your destination place where this recovered file will go to. So for example, I want to send it to my desktop and then I'm gonna click on save. And then it's gonna take a few moments to recover this file. We can open the folder, all videos, MOV, Sony. Boom, here it is, I'm gonna mute it. And that's the file. <laughs> Even though it's a short file, uh, this is actually from an Instagram video project that I was working on. And that's just a simple example of how this software works. Now, if you wanna go back to the main menu, you will have to abort the scan completely. So if I click on the back option here, you will have to completely just cancel this scan. So now you're gonna go back to the home page. It's gonna reload the external devices, such as the hard drives and SD cards. And if you want to uh, scan another folder file or another hard drive or SD card, you can do so as long as it's in this menu. You can constantly hit the refresh button if you want to connect new devices without restarting the software. Corrupted video repair is a very powerful tool. If you do think that your camera did not record the file properly, you can definitely use this tool to help you regain control of that corrupted file and hopefully it will work out with you. Now, please don't forget the preventative measures that I mentioned earlier in this video because preventative measures are going to help you avoid mistakes that can cost you job, work, money, and so forth. So if you're interested in Wondershare Recover It, check out Recover It wondershare.com this is the website right now what you can do you can actually test out the software before buying it all you have to do is go to that website click on the download option you can run your scan and see if the missing file that you're looking for is in that software and if it is and you want to recover it you can purchase the software there's multiple different pricing plans available to you for example if you go to the buy now option you can see that it's an 80 dollar a year plan and this is the essential version for Mac, standard for Mac, and there's premium for Mac as well. And you can see the different options that are right here under those versions. You can also buy a perpetual license, which will allow you to use this software forever. And that's actually something that I do recommend because as long as you're recording videos or storing things on hard drives or SD cards, you're gonna want a perpetual license just so you can actually save more money in the long run. So that is the newest version of Recover It from Wondershare. It is going to be your best buddy when it comes down to recovering corrupted or deleted files. So if you're interested, check out the link down below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And I do hope that you recover your files. I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.